I think we can all agree that the housing market in 2021 was way too hot and the housing market in 2023 was just way too cold. So then maybe, just maybe, 2024 is going to get closer to being just right. As the market kicks off this year, we are already steadfast into 2024. And I want to start by diving into news from the Fed's first meeting of the year and unpacking what it means for the real estate market, especially when I say everything now is unlocked. So headline news, everyone knows this already. The Fed is keeping the interest rates steady. When they met last week, they decided to keep the policy interest rates unchanged. Remember, 2022-2023 was the years of combating inflation. The Fed benchmark rate went up. Interest rate payments on all your credit cards went up. Loan prices went up. Prices on basically everything went up. And then things started to settle down last year. But there was so much volatility, you couldn't predict the future. So a lot of that volatility has come to a pause. And it looks like inflation is kind of under control. I'm going to get to that, though. But here's the best thing about the moment that we're in right now. With the Fed keeping interest rates unchanged, what that means is that the consumer, the buy side, the sell side, the agents, brokers, vendors, mortgage bankers, etc., can predict at least six months into the future. Now, anything can happen. We can have COVID again, or who knows, there could be another major global conflict. But for all intent and purposes, right now at the beginning of 2024, we can basically predict the way the world is going to look in six months from now, which is why I'm calling this housing period unlocked. Because if we look back to where we were in 2023 and 2022, when the majority of home sellers were basically locked into their home because 90% of mortgages in the US were locked in under 5%. So why would they ever leave? All of a sudden, their mortgage became a financial asset. So why would they ever sell? Now, if we know that rates aren't going to go up drastically, at least, or even drastically come down, well, that that means that a good portion of those sellers are starting to become unlocked, which means inventory is going to start coming back to market, which means buyers who've had pent up demand the last year, two years are going to start jumping on properties. Now, this is both a good thing and a bad thing. It's good because it's more inventory with what has been a historic period of low inventory across the nation. It's a bad thing because more buyers and already a tight housing market is going to put more pressure on prices both for the home sellers looking to sell and the seller who is looking to potentially go and buy unless they're looking to rent something but what this all creates is activity week over week now we are seeing greater listing activity we're seeing greater contract activity now this doesn't mean however that we will go back to what we saw in 2019 or 2012 it just means a new normal market but hold on to your hats because there's more now is the inflation battle over powell raised a big question is the recent good inflation data a true sign of a sustainable path back to normal? Or is it just a blip? Now, inflation isn't a monster under my desk. It's an economic phenomenon that's tricky to tame. And we've been through it before. But with the economy recovering, we might just actually get inflation back in its lane. Now, you also have an impact on home buyers and prices that I want to dive into a little bit more. With a strong job market and low unemployment, people are feeling confident. Not as confident as we want, but there's definitely some confidence in the air and confidence could lead to more home buyers jumping into the market. And that's the potential of prices going up, like I mentioned earlier. But remember, high inflation makes customers think twice before splashing the cash. Now, how does the Fed meeting affect investor sentiment and real estate supply? Well, changes in monetary policy are like the weather for investors, always influencing their mood or strategy and can change at any given point in time. So remember, if interest rates remain stable as they are now, or they start climbing again, the buyers might rush to seal a deal because they want to get ahead of future higher monthly payments. Sellers, on the other hand, might tweak their pricing strategy. It's a delicate dance and a dance that you want a professional agent that is leading the way. An agent that is current on news, on policies, and an agent that will get the job done. Thank you.
Thank you.